This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. All right, well, this unreleased track with Nas dissing Tupac surfaced a little while ago. It's called Real and Words. And he's going at Tupac, if you all recall. Back then, uh, Tupac was going at everybody from Mob Deep to Jay-Z to Nas, obviously Notorious B.I.G. as well. So here is a piece of that. Drop the cue, smoke amazing top. This that giving you triple Asian eye. Yeah, bitch, a chicken stay and flop. With two tops and Tim's, two blue rocks and bends. Who got the ends? The type again, two pot pretend to all the ends you shine. Guess who got revenge? I won't show both. My flow choke you. And if it don't, the foe throw a smoke you. Left the seed reminiscing on your MCs. I'm pissing on your shine because my chips are longer. So if you guys heard that from Tube Socks and Tim's to Blue Rocks and Ben's who got the ends, the type of end where Tupac pretends, and it goes on from there. They also said Jay-Z had done one. That's the rumor as well, but that has never been leaked. Why, why is this a story now? Just for, like, hip-hop history purposes, I guess? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so obviously he wasn't putting this song out. He never put it out, but it has leaked. And can you imagine? I wonder what Jay-Z said on his. Because that time was crazy. You know, Jay-Z once said... Jay-Z once said, so what? And that's how I feel about all those old his records right now. So what? Okay. I mean, it's history. Yeah, it is. It is, but sometimes, it is history. It's, it's it was a, sometimes it, it feels was a like crazy time. Yeah, sometimes it feels like you're picking at old wounds. You know what I mean? Things have healed. You know, people are no longer here. Man's deceased. Yeah, it's like, eh. Right. Well, I mean, clearly nobody has any issues with with that anymore but you know I could see with all these movies that have been coming out and I'm sure a lot more are going to come out and documentaries and all of that this is just all part of history from that time mm-hmm. alright now I wanted to do this story yesterday but Michaela Cole has joined the cast of Black Panther the sequel Wakanda Forever you know I love her from that HBO show I May Destroy You and she also had that show Chewing Gum right Yep. and so yes yeah, she is now uh, joining that they did not say what her role is going to be in the Wakandaverse, but character details are locked up. But I see a lot of speculation online. What do you think? Um, I could see her being a member of the the, the Dora Milaje, or she could be uh, somebody opposing them. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see, though. Some people said they think she would be the perfect storm. I don't know. Oh, hmm. I heard Madam Slay. They said she was born to play that role. Hmm. So... All right, LeBron is the first active billionaire NBA player. And it's not just his salary. By the way, and we say active because obviously Michael Jordan's made a lot of money, but that was all after his career in basketball. He would, they said even if you account for inflation, he wouldn't have hit that billion-dollar mark. So congrats to LeBron for that. I yeah. mean, when you look at his salary, his salary is about $330 million since he's been drafted in 2003. And so a lot of that money that he got also comes from endorsements, merchandise, licensing, his media business, acting as well. Congrats to him. Mm -hmm. Billionaire Bron. He earns more than $100 million a year with AT&T, Beats by Dre, Blaze Pizza, GMC, Nike, Pepsi, Rimawa, and Walmart. And he does the right right things with that money. You know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? Because LeBron employs a lot of of black people, and he has that, that, that school in Akron. Like, he really, you know... Puts the money back into the people, so salute the bro. He's also a partner in Fenway Sports Group that owns the Boston Red Sox, Liverpool Football Club, and Roche Fenway Racing, among other, among other businesses. Yeah, so salute behind LeBron. him uh, is Kevin Durant at five hundred and eighty million, and then Steph Curry, Curry at four hundred and thirty million. Okay. All right, and Jordan Peele has unveiled the title and official poster for his next movie, starring Daniel Kaluuya, and it's called Nope. So Kiki Palmer is also in that movie and Steven Young. So the uh, poster teases that select sequences of the film were shot with IMAX cameras. That's all we know about the project so far. Uh, he is both the writer and director and production on the film started in L.A. recently. So you can expect to see that July 22nd, 2022. That's the plan. You know, wipe me down. Um, this is not wiping, sir. No, I'm coming What's to get going wiped on down. And- I'm cleansing, going, cleansing the energy in the room. That's why I stayed home. Back. All right, now, Kevin Hart is run blasting run Nick Cannon on billboards. And this all comes from Nick Cannon sending Kevin Hart a llama for his birthday. If y'all recall, here's how that went down. I have a message. 
Since Whoa. I'm having all these new kids, I thought I would bless you with a new one as well. Save the drama <laughs> for your llama. Happy birthday. This is from Nick Cannon. Yes. He bought me a llama. What am I supposed to do with this llama? <laughs> this is the most childish I've ever seen in my life. And I don't yeah, understand his point. Do y'all stay here with this llama? <laughs> How long is the llama supposed to stay here? This he is... can stay here for a few hours. It's Jesus, fine. no, I don't want this llama to stay here for a few hours. All right. Well, since then, uh, Kevin Hart posted a billboard. He said, since my brother Nick Cannon decided to buy me a llama for my birthday, I decided to do something nice for him as well. Here is a digital billboard in L.A. I also did some in Atlanta and New York. If you want any advice on fatherhood, please call my best friend Nick Cannon. I'm sure his phone has been ringing nonstop. Gotcha back, bitch. And he hashtagged prank wars. And so he put up Nick Cannon's phone number. And it says, for any advice on fatherhood, call my best friend, Nick Cannon. No, will, this got to be a TV show because he, he went too far. No, you will never out petty a cancer. Nah, you will far. never out petty a cancer. You sent Kev a llama for his born day, Nick, and so Kevin took it a step further. One thing about cancer, you can't go to war with somebody who gives an F less, less than you do. And it's not like they're going to war. It's fun, right? Yep. But that was very hilarious. That was very far. Think so? Yes. All right. you gotta well, that is your rumor report. He might have had that number a long time. And yeah, Nick got a couple I'm sure phones. Nick Cannon got more than one phone. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Nick got a couple phones. He'll be okay. Okay. All right. Well, who are you giving your donkey to? Mm. We Thank need a guy named Tommy Fisher to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with him. This might, this might be something near and dear to your heart, Envy. You okay. know what I'm saying? When you put a lot of money into a real estate project. You need your money back. And then you want your money back, but the project's not finished. You know what I mean? So yep, you, yep. You, ever, you ever done that? You ever dumped your money into an investment and then you just feel like, you know what? I don't want to spend no more money on this. Yeah, sometimes that okay. happens. We'll talk about it for after that. I just want to thank you for the for the wood, too. Bro, knock it off. Okay, this is Palo Santos. It's okay? wood, though. I'm saying thank it's you. It's holy wood. I'm, uh, <laughs> thank, thank you for right? the holy wood. Clean the negative energy out of the room. Okay. I'm just saying. You know relieve what? some stress and I'm tension. Just say, I'm just saying thank you for the holy wood. Oh, God. Well, if wood helps you to relieve stress and tension, Envy, you're welcome. All right. Don't get a day's next at the Breakfast Club. Good morning.